Question 5. What is 444 minutes in hours and minutes? Well, obviously in one hour, that is 60 minutes. So we need to figure out how many lots of 60 minutes goes in 444 minutes. Now the easiest thing to do here is count up in 60s. But it might be even easier than that to count up in 6s and then just add a 0 on the end. So, in my 6 times table, I've got 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54. Now I'm going to actually stop there because when I actually add my zeros on the end, I'm going to end up with 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, 360, 420, 480, 540. So I originally in blue wrote my 6 times table, but when you add a 0 on the end, that's actually going to make the 6 10 times bigger to make 60. So this will now be our 60 times table. So these are going up in 60s. So if you write out your 6 times table and then put a 0 on the end, you then got your 60 times table. So all we need to do now is figure out how many hours this is that we can get into 444 minutes. Well, this would be one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours, and this is going to be seven hours. Now, we can't go to eight hours because 480 has gone over 444. That's gone over 444, and obviously so is 540. So we've got seven hours, and that's 420 minutes. So it's definitely seven hours, and all we need to do now is figure out how many extra minutes there are from 420 up to 444. Well, if we do 444, subtract 420, a lot of you could probably do this in your head. The answer is obviously going to be 24 minutes. So let's just check where that comes from. 4 take away 0 is 4, 4 take away 2 is 2, and 4 take away 4 is nothing. So we have got 24 minutes left. So your final answer is that it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 full hours, which is 420 minutes, and there is an extra 24 minutes to get it up to 440 minutes. Final answer is 7 hours, 24 minutes.